Uh, we're standing in front of uh, Sentatech P110 machine. And I want to talk a little bit about uh, or further talk about um, the 80-20 strategy that we talked about across the street with the N600 flat table five axis machine. Right. So we, we mentioned that machine was set up for 80 percent nesting with automation and 20 percent of some of the of the detail five axis type work we see here. Uh, the machine behind us, this is where I need you to be a little bit creative with me. Although this is set up as a pod and rail machine in our showroom, uh, this can also be built or configured with an aluminum matrix table where we can now put machines into uh, the 2080 flat table right strategy, which would be 20% nesting, meaning I want to do right a spoil board on the matrix table 20% of the time, and I want to do things like right race panel door, solid wood entry parts, a few other examples of some solid wood parts here. We get into corbels and radius handrail work, which we're doing on five axis machines, and kind of give you an explanation of why do we have two platforms, right? 80-20, nesting with automation and five axis as a supplement to the machine. And then if we continue to use creativity here and look at, right, matrix table on a machine like this, right, 80% five axis work. And then the nesting is kind of an ancillary, hey, bonus type strategy, right? So that's a little bit of, of kind of how we round out that five axis offering on the flat table. And uh, let's move into what we really are standing in front of here. So this is a pod based machine, pod and rail. So parts, whether it's some of that five axis solid woodwork are coming pre-sized or at least the large square is cut down to a smaller square, then fixtured to the machine and shaped, drilled vertically, drilled horizontally, pocketed um, for doing door work, right? That mortise, lock mortise type work all happens here on a machine like this. Um, in terms of five axis, it's kind of what, what is sexy in the marketplace today, right? But if you look at a machine like this, uh, available in a three-axis type configuration and a four-axis with the C-axis and aggregates to do some of that work. But we don't want to forget, right, about our traditional cut bamboo market, which a machining center like this um, has been the gold standard for many, many years. So you're looking at a, a side panel here, right? Eight millimeter construction holes, 32 millimeter uh, adjustable shelf plus a back groove. That process can happen on the machine like this where we're working on this side of the table right, pendulum processing while the other side is being unloaded and loaded for the next panel. So you're working in that pendulum priority and the machine is, is constantly in the cut, right? This technology is not new, of course. It's been around for a very long time. As I said, it's the gold standard for, for machining in our industry. Um, but David, if you'll kind of zoom in here, we are doing some unique things. Again, when we talked about some of the machines earlier, how do we make the interaction with the operator more effective and more efficient and faster when he's not cutting parts? And if you kind of see here, this is set up with an LED system where it tells you, right, where that pod goes on the rail. The blinking LED in the center is the center of the pod, right? And by the width of the LED, it provides you the width of the pod. So the operator is thinking very little and stay here for a second. I'm going to go grab something different. Now I'll come back to you here with a, with a, with a narrower pod. And if we look at the width of this pod compared to what we have on it, and if I were the operator and did yeah here, right, the width of my pod is significantly smaller than the width of the LED. I would know I have the wrong pod there, right? So less thinking on the operator's part, more throughput on the machine's part at the end of the day. So we're focused right now on a 110 series machine, um, new to us this year, um, within both the pot and rail and right. The aluminum matrix table machine is the 210 series. So that brings in a little bit higher Z, a little bit more processing width in the Y axis. It also brings in on the 200 series machine. If we're on the pot and rail platform, um, that market priced auto pod, so not only are we equipping the pods and rails with LED, right, to know which size pod goes where on that 200 series auto pod machine, the pods and rails then automatically set themselves up 
further decreasing the amount of thinking and work on the operator's part. So if we kind of close this segment here in terms of, right, 80% nesting, 20% other, or not really speaking correctly here, 80% machining, 20% other, we can fulfill that need both on a 100 or a 200 series Sentatec P series machine with the matrix table or pod and rail with LED setup assist on the 100 series and automatic, automatic pod and rail placement on the 200 series machine.